Okay, so what you'll need to play angle ball. If you do not have actual angle ball goals, you can do like we did. We used two volleyball standards and we took two cones and we placed one cone on each standard um, for the students to knock down in order to get a point. You'll need one ball to play with and you can use cones or field paint to mark the boundaries. As you can see right here, this is one of the cones we use for the goal. We just put a little piece of tape around the hole so that we could put it on the standard and it wouldn't slide all the way down. And then we took some field paint and took a string, attached it, and we did a six foot diameter circle and marked it off with field paint. Um, you can see we got two six foot diameter circles and we've got our field marked off with paint. Okay, so how do you play angle ball? What are the rules of angle ball? Each team will start on their baseline. When the whistle's blown, they're gonna run as fast as they can to try to get to the ball first. The team that gets there first is gonna get possession, so they'll have the first possession. Um, the object is to knock your cone down, and when a, ball, when a player has a ball, they can do three things. They can run with the ball, they can pass the ball, or they can shoot the ball. When a defender tags them, however, they cannot run anymore. So then at that point, they don't, it's not a turnover, but they can pass or shoot only. And they'll have to do so in three seconds. A drop pass or interception, fumble, miss shot, or block pass all result in a turnover, and the other team will instantly grab possession. There is a six-foot circle around the goal, and no player can enter that circle at any time from any team. Once the team scores, the ball will be placed back into the middle of the court and the teams will return to their baseline to reset. Here's a live view of our students playing. You can see them racing out to the midline to get the ball. So blue team gets possession first. He's tagged. He's got a shooter pass. He passes. It's a drop. It's now a red ball. They drop. So it's blue ball. Got another tag. So we got a shot from blue team here. He misses, so that's a turnover. Red team throws it. Deflected by blue team, so blue ball. It's a drop by blue. Red team gets possession. They throw it. Interception by blue. He shoots and he scores. That's a catch by red team, so he still has possession. He has not been tagged. He's standing up. Oh, and there he goes. He's going to run. He's tagged. Now he's got to shoot it or pass it. He's got to do it in three seconds. He just has to pass. It's a drop, so it's now blue team ball. He has not been tagged. And there he goes. He's tagged, so now he's got to shoot it or pass it. Long pass. It's a drop. It's red's ball. And he drops the ball. So if you see right there, he drops the ball. That is a turnover. So blue has possession. He's not been tagged yet. Throws it. And we got a drop. So blue team knows it's a drop. Goes ahead and gives it to the red team. And that's a great shot by red team. And that's it. I hope you kind of get the gist of how to play angle ball. If not, you can definitely reach out to me through the comments. Ask me any questions. We do appreciate you watching. And if you liked it, I hope you will subscribe for more videos and, and give us a like.